Yes, you can, you can bring them up. You can bring them up. And uh, business is uh, 109 South McDade Boulevard. Your hours are Monday to sa Monday to Saturday, 9:30 a.m. to 11:30 p.m. Yes. And then Sunday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yes. And you have three employees. Yes. You want to sell liquor and wine shops? Yeah, I used to have the e-license. E-license is uh, I sell in uh, beer, food, and cigarettes. And uh, this time I changed the R license. R license is like uh, uh, the inspector told me that it's like apple bean. With we're gonna I like to sell uh, wine and beer, uh, food, and then I can sell shop. Yeah, wine do you have here wine and shots? Yeah, it's a way of shots in terms of the R license. It, it says existing business wants to add and sell of liquor, wine, and shots. Be specific, it's liquor shots, wine, and beer. And food. So what happened? You don't want this. No. Oh, so, yeah. so what happened is, originally when the Hilldale first opened, they were strictly uh, they were beer and hot food. Um, they did get their liquor license changed from an E to an R, which is now a restaurant license. So now they have the right to sell liquor, wine, and malted beverages, beer. Um, I did speak to the the. Uh, uh, a lady from the liquor control board. So what brought us down there though was there was a banner that they just threw up that said liquor shots and somebody was walking outside with two shots. So but the problem is the according to the liquor control board the shots are supposed to be consumed inside the store not walking outside the store. Now, the fact that they have a liquor license to sell liquor, now wine and beer, it's fine. But I did ask the question to the Liquor Control Board about the shots. You have the right as a council to say, no, they cannot sell shots. No. Just because they, the Liquor Control Board says they can sell shots, the borough, you as a borough council have the right to say, no, you're not selling shots at the establishment because that's your rules, uh, the rule that you want to impose on them. So you do have that right. <coughs> Um, we, I don't know how the police feel, but as a code department, from what we saw when we were there, we recommend from the code department that you do not allow them to sell shots because it's already, there has been issues, but then just serving beer in there more than just food. So we recommend in the code, our recommendation from the code department is the shots not be allowed to be sold, liquor shots be allowed to be sold in there. Um, can I have some kind of suggestion from my committee, Ms. Munden? Oh, I'm sorry. I had a question. The, the license itself, was that the, was that the license that had been here at that location? They used to have an E, which was strictly beer. They, are now, they do now have an R, which is restaurant, which gives them the right to sell liquor, wine, and beer. And is the license in the name of Mr. Kim? Yes. And was it in the license? name of Mr. Kim before? No, when he purchased the property, there was a, the, the, the liquor license transfer. So there was no transfer out of county or out of the, the municipality. That same license was in the, in this municipality. It was it was okay. in the municipality, yes. When he, yes. I didn't know if we had to agree for a transfer of a uh, yeah, No, no, it was, it, was, it was transferred through the liquor control, LC Bay liquor control. Yeah, I didn't know if Mr. Kim already had the license before he took over the operation of Hilldale Kitchen or? No, or he, well, he purchased the business and the, the license. Well, so that's what raised, raised the question in my mind. Sure. Yeah, um, right, with, the wine well, and with the wine and shots, myself, I'm, I'm voting no. I, I don't think it's a good idea to have it. That's my opinion. Ms. Munden? Uh, I vote no also because we have a child here. Yeah, and then we have a lot of that. 
And they already walk, they've already violated. You walk in an uh, alcohol like me, I know what a shot is. But you you uh, you giving people shots, that's that's you're ordering things here. And that means that our police department has to run. I have to have to not be over there. I vote no. I vote no. Mr. McKenna. I have no further questions. You'll vote? You How can't. You it's a committee meeting. You can't vote. Uh, I feel that if, uh, if the product is consumed within the store and it's now a restaurant, which should have, I'm sure it must have sufficient seating and the table. But it's not a restaurant. I don't know if this is satisfying. According to the LCB, the, the liquor license has been qualified for a restaurant. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know how they qualify their liquor license. So that I do not know how they determine what it is. Qualified to be classified as a restaurant. For so us, sufficient seating to be a restaurant. Yes. There are a minimum number of tables and chairs. For yes. There's at least twenty tables in the restaurant. Yeah. 30 tables. 30 tables. 30 tables. Excuse me. Yeah, Philadelphia is fighting this. All right, we have made a decision. We consider it as, uh, basically, we consider it as a takeout eatery. And we don't we don't consider it a restaurant. No, no. There's no way. Uh, believe me, I, listen. I was just, there's no thirty tables in there. Sure. Uh, oh, come on. You got too many cases of beer stacked around that thirty tables. And I can tell you, I was just in there. Uh, I'm not necessarily. I can take a photo of it. Sir, right here. Sir, here. Could you give your name? Yes, I'm the I'm I'm this gentleman, Mr. Mr. Kim's. I am his freight manager. I'm the one who handles all of the beer during the course of the day. Yeah, but right now... I, I, I'm, excuse me, I, and I, I, I like to interject something. I'm really curious as to why it is, and apparently they had to come before you guys, why it is, because this gentleman had to make an effort to grow his business, because someone made a decision that said um, beer distributors can sell single beers now. And that, when he, when he purchased the business, that was not the case. Beer distributors couldn't sell single cans of beer. Now, Fimmers, which is right there where we are in that lot, they can sell single cans of beer. They got big old advertisements every, everywhere. So, so we're talking that, about so wine we, and shots. We're yeah, you're, about you're, that right you're, you're arguing with the wrong people. We yeah. didn't make the decision for beer distributors to sell right. single cans of beer. We've got to make our argument to the state of Pennsylvania, not to the bar of the right just I'm just telling you. And since Hilldale's been open, they've been selling single cans of beer since they've been open, yeah, before right, that gentleman right. purchased the place. Right. Yeah, I understand that. But once someone gave the, the beer distributors the green light, that totally... That was a game changer for his business. That's why he had to make an effort to grow his business. But he's turning a pizza takeout place yeah, into a, a bar with there. shots. It's a, it's a restaurant. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a pizza, it's a pizza bar. It's it's but it qualifies restaurant. under the Liquor Control Board, but per the code that we look at, it's a, it's a takeout pizza bar. How do you do that? By the food that you're selling. Wouldn't there be a requirement that would mean it's people eat? requirements that would make it fit at the restaurant. How can you determine that it's in a restaurant or it's a takeout beer place? You can't just look at the restaurant say, or look at the store and say, oh, it's a takeout place. There should be certain requirements that will determine whether it should be considered a takeout or a beer. Not under the LCB, but under you guys. You guys can't just say, oh, what is the definition it, of looks, a it looks like a takeout beer. Move it to where you under some controls or requirements that should indicate whether it should be that. It's funny because when Pat Burns owned it, he was allowed to do whatever so he wanted. I, I want to sure the Just saying. Is that, so they had a sign up Pat that Burns has been doing it. It doesn't matter. Found out about this? Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Yeah. So so they never came about before you. Did they ever write a letter? Or, 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 no. No. We we received we received a complaint via phone that brought us down there. When we got down there, there was a big banner that said beer, liquor, shot. So they just they took it soon. They didn't say we were selling Excuse me. In. Excuse me. I wasn't done. But so they just took it upon themselves to institute shots. Mm -hmm. Without getting council consent. Without, without they changed their NRL without council consent. Yeah, what's their proper channels? 
through the LCB, sir, right, not through the LCB. Yeah. No, I don't know. The sign was on the orange sign was on the door. So we had made we had made our decision, and this is how it's standing right now. I'm sorry. Okay. So so he purchased that, he spent his money for that license for nothing. He went and did what he's he, putting that sign up he shouldn't have done. That's one thing he did wrong. We just had our discussion and our discussion is closed. And that's our decision. Thank you. Vice President. Yes. I believe that uh, they would still be able to sell the wine and continue. They want to do wine shots. Wine and shots. We're not. We're not. not we're not wine doing and shots are two different things. Yeah. So we're wine. not doing shots. shots. Okay. So wine and shots. So to clarify, you're talking about shots here and not wine. Right. Well, I'm reading the intro and we. We turned it down. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. No. Just she, clar I just she, want some clarification. So this is in terms of shots. Okay. I'm a, no. I'm just clarifying. Is that correct? You have your existing business wants to add and sell liquor, wine, and shots. Right. But as a we were talking about shots. Okay. Yeah. No. We're not having okay, yes. you do shots. That's okay. it. Yes. That's it. I just wanted to clarify. That's to clarify. That okay, I'm, yes. I'm gonna put it. We're not. We're, you're not doing shots. You cannot do shots. So. That's, that's all. <coughs> he's here, man. He's MRO. I just have here that he wants to add this stuff. He wants to add this. Correct. It says that he wants to add wine and shots. And you're saying he cannot do shots. Right. Are you suggesting that he amend the right. MRO? Right. Right. But all I'm saying, um, I read what he has here, what he wants to do. We do not want to have them do shots and have shots coming out the building. That's what we're explaining. Correct. So are you suggesting that they amend the MRO? Yes, he should. Okay. He should. Yes. Amend it? Yes. Mark, I have one more. It's that they're currently already selling the liquor at all. They were the day we went down, yes. So it, it, that's, that's my question. Are we going to allow them to continue right. to sell liquor? Because liquor and beer is two different things. Because when they came in front of us, they, had, they said beer. They did not say liquor. You didn't, have, you didn't have liquor in your NRO when you first came. But now you're in front of us, and you want to add this stuff to, to your NRO, right? Is that what you're doing? Questions? Gee, I'm sorry, yes. <clears throat> we, um, whether it's a restaurant where it has 20 tables or 30 tables, it isn't uh, the issue. Uh, obviously, what he's done with uh, the liquor control board, and he's done. Right. Uh, that number one affects his NRO because he's not in compliance with it. But the second thing is, and the reason I went down there is, people walking outside and with shots and drinking them. We have an open container law. Right. It's illegal to consume alcohol, whether it's a can of beer coming out of Fibbers and, or a shot coming out of that store or a bottle of wine coming out of that store and drinking it. Now, we have, we answer 26,000 calls a year. We don't need people walking out of there with shots making matters worse than what they are. So it's one thing what he does inside the store, but uh, there's going to be a lot of arrest down there. You got to know that because we're not going to tolerate people walking around that parking lot drinking at open containers. We have an ordinance that says you can't do it. So and right maybe now, before you went through all this, you should have came and did some research into what the uh, ordinances for the borough are. And that ordinance has been in existence for Probably 20 years. 40. So we, we made our decision. We're not, we're not voting for it. We're not voting for it. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, the other thing I have for 